In the morning, we learned a very interesting halakha. And a few people approached after, they said, Rabbi, that's a very interesting halakha, and I didn't know this. What's the halakha was in the morning? If a person had a child named after somebody that passed away in a young age, no, I the Sefer Hasidim says that when a person has a shalom, is calling name for his child after somebody that passed away in a young age, has a shalom can affect the child, same mazal that happened to this person, can happen over that has a shalom again to the child. So says that therefore, says Sefer Hasidim, a person has to be careful not to call his children after people that passed away in a tragedy. Somebody has a shalom was killed, somebody had a disease, whatever it is, should not call after such a person's name. Says now the person, Rabbi, when my father, was killed in a war, whatever it is, something happened to him. He, was, he died at a young age. And my son, I wanted to name my son after my father. He gave cover to my father. I went to a big rabbi, and the rabbi told me, listen, don't name him after your father directly, but name him after your father plus another name. Now, Rabbi Yosef says the opposite. He says, first name the other name, then put your father name. So he said, I did the opposite. I called the first name my father's name. Let's say his, my father's name was uh, David. So I called my son David Yonatan. He was supposed to call him Yonatan David. So what should I do now? Should I change my son's name now? Because I don't want him to have a bit mazal, like my father died in a young age. I want my child to live long age. Show me a diligence. What should I do? That was his question. So I I looked more into this halakha, and I found out a very interesting point. What is the reason that our body arrived over here like this? What's the reason that the niftars, which is father, uncle, neighbor, somebody, you're supposed to call him Shem Hasheni, the second name. What's the reason? The nature of people is always to call the person, if he has two names, how usually people call? <laughs> After the first name. So it says, if so, the problem is, if you're going to put the person that passed away in a young age, the first name, and the second name, most people will not call. Most people will call him David. Nobody will call him David or Nathan. So the problem is, David by himself is after the person that passed away in a young age. Show me jail, chat. Have to change name now? So it says no. I saw in a, a Mormon parashim, they said, what is the reason we add name? It says, Halachain, Halachot Gitin. What if a person, and that's a common thing by the Bukharians also. Bukharians many times they have a, a Russian name, and I mean other cultures also, Georgians, other people, Americans. And they have the Jewish name. So when they come to say Hashkava, or Flashelema, how they say, Boris Baruch Ben Yura Yuda. <laughs> now, a question to you like this. If a person name, it's a person comes to bedding, no, he comes to bedding, they get divorced. What's your name? My name is Boris. Okay. What's your Jewish name? Baruch. If the Sofer writes, Anna, in the get is supposed to write. Anna, Boris Baruch. This get is kosher or no? His name, Boris, his, his Hebrew name is Baruch. He wrote the husband's name, Boris Baruch. That's a kosher uh, name or no? Is a get, is kosher or no? Says yeah. Why not? His name, even if he wrote Baruch Boris, that's a matter. Somebody calls him Boris Baruch? No. no. People call him either Boris, either Baruch. People don't call him Boris Baruch. So says the Alaha, since you, in the laws of Kitim, if you change the husband's name or the wife's name, her name is Belor, I don't know, uh, something. No. Bracha. Belor Bracha. There is no such a name, Belor Bracha. Her name is Belor, Demit Kerim Bracha, or Bracha Demit Kerim Belor. But she doesn't have a name, Belor Bracha. So says Allah, since it's considered to be a change of name, when the person comes to you and says, my name is Boris and my Jewish name is Baruch, and you write Boris Baruch, that's not, the, that's not his name. His name is either Boris, either Baruch. It's not together. So says Allah, now let's take this concept and apply it to this child. 
His father's name was, the father passed away at a young age, or uncle something, was David, let's say, example. Or I don't know, Abraham, something else, doesn't matter. His name was, let's say, Abraham, the, real, the, the main name. And the rabbi told him, put Abraham, second name, put uh, Michael. So now, the, the truth was supposed to be the other way around. It was supposed to be Michael, Abraham. Now you ask, should I change my child, child's name or no? What the answer is? You don't have to change your child's name. The first name that you put your father's name, said it. But the reason why Havadi wrote, make sure that the person that passed on a young age put it in a second, you know why? Because most people will call him only by the first. But if you will be particular from now on, to call that child, let's say his first name is Abraham, second name is Michael. You're gonna call him Abraham Michael. So from now on, he's not named 100% after the father, because the father name was Abraham, the one that passed away in the young age. This child name is Abraham Michael. So instead of changing the name, what he could, this child name is Abraham Michael. So instead of changing the name, what he could do is just to call him the real name. What's his real, he, this child's name, his two names, Abraham Michael. It's not Abraham and sometimes he's Michael. It's Abraham Michael. So like this, you change the name from the father's name. And at the same time, you also give some sort of respect to the father. Oh, Abraham, people will feel like, okay, you know, respected his father. That's as far as if a person already had it the wrong way, the correction to that is, call him by both names. Leave it the order the way it is, even though it was not the best order, but it's already called, it's already done. What should you do? Call now by both names and ask people around, please make sure. He goes up to the Torah by both names, he's being called at home by both names, he's being called by the family, whatever it is, always both names for this child situation. Generally, Sephardi people don't have two names. Majority of the people don't have two names. This is more from coming from the Ashkenazi side. Some Sephardi has this adoption from the, from the Ashkenazi source, but majority of the people don't call both names by, by uh, two names. No, oh, good point. I saw also this. How young is considered to be young? So he says it's machloket in the kritut. What's considered to be karet? And the Torah says if a chas v'shalom person's wife doesn't go to mikveh. And he touches her, chas v'shalom does more things than that. It's karet. Person chas v'shalom breaks Shabbat. It's karet. The Gemara says in Maseret Kritut, what is the punishment for breaking Shabbat, punishment for breaking mikveh, karet? What is karet? Says the Gemara, Chas v'shalom ni pranas kazana, nano alenu, dying in a young age. Says the Gemara, what does it mean dying in a young age? Machloket, some say 50, some say 60. So, <laughs> so, it says if you pass the 50, you have one opinion that you're, it's already not young age. If you pass the 60, you have already two of both opinions that it's not a young age. So if a person has a situation like this, that somebody passed away and they, before 50, it's 100% young age. After 60, it's 100% not young age, it's 100% good. This was a correction that a person have to, if he needs to correct the situation, so he doesn't have to change the child's name, he doesn't have to change the order, just make sure you call both names. Like this, you change the name of the child without changing the name of the child. <laughs> you made it in a smooth way. That, as far as two names you put. Sometimes, person is Bab Hashem, healthy, he was named after healthy person, successful, tzaddik, according to that. Lo alenu lo alechem, suddenly he gets sick. He goes to the rabbi, the rabbi tells him, listen, you have a problem with your health, add the name Chaim. So let's name, his name was Abraham, now make sure you're being called Chaim Abraham. You know who had such a situation? Rabbi Yosef. Rabbi Yosef, before, was, before the end of days of Rabbi he's they added the name to him, Chaim Ovadia. And they made everybody please pray for the Fuash of Chaim Ovadia Yosef. It didn't hold 30 days. Within 30 days, Rahavadia went to Olam Abba. On the Matseva, people already called him Chaim Ovadia. Chaim Ovadia Yosef. On the tombstone, Matseva, should you write Chaim Ovadia? People called him Chaim Ovadia already. Or should you only call Ovadia? Ovadia Yosef, what should you call him? In the Matseva, what should you write? Says the Halakha, it depends if it held for 30 days or not. If you made it with this name 30 days, that's his new name. 
So even on the 31st day he will die, you have to write Haim Ovadis. But since it was within 30 days he passed away, they wrote on his matzeva, whoever goes to his matzeva, you see, Pon Itman, Ovadia Yosef. It doesn't say Haim Ovadia Yosef. Why? Because he went to Olam Abad within 30 days. You see, Rabotai, those names are not something a person can just play. Listen, I don't like my name. I want to be called that name. This is something that affects persons mazalot. Marriages, children, parnasah, all these things. That's why you have, if you have a problem with names, you don't like something, you have to go to a haham that 